The Kentucky Folk Arts Center is a cultural and educational service of Moorhead State University. For us it's about education, it's about preservation, it's about advancing something that's really special in the Appalachian culture. The mission of Kentucky Folk Arts Center is to uh, increase awareness of the work of self-taught artists in Kentucky. I have known it all my life because I used to have to make toys when I was a little child to play with and stuff like that. Over the past five years, we've managed to reach over 50,000 Kentucky public school students across the state and across our, our region here in East Kentucky. We always have a permanent display of Kentucky folk art on the center's ground floor. In our second floor gallery, the exhibition that's currently up, Rhythm and Relief, works by LaVon Williams is our second traveling exhibition we've put together that's become an NEA American Masterpieces exhibition, further raising the awareness of Kentucky folk art. All of a sudden you will come across somebody who will be like sort of this gem that, that's been hidden away and uh, you have an opportunity to bring it to people's attention. It's an amazing display of the quality of how people interpret their world through their art. Well, that uh, was an old throwed away radio and, and I looked at it and, and I, you know, I thought how funny it would be to decorate it and then I wrote on it and made a sculpture of Garland and myself, that was my late husband, and, and I said, did you know Garland and Minnie's on the radio? So there we stood. <laughs> I'll give you the example of Edgar Tolson who started out making practical things for the household, had a big family, started making toys as a young man. It took somebody else to come along and say, you know, oh, what you're making is art. And I'd been making the little roosters and stuff, like for 50 cents and a dollar, but I don't make them that cheap anymore. <laughs> a lot of folk art is primitive in nature, but we judge it based on expressiveness, I think more so than how well it is rendered. Linville Barker uh, is a wood carver from Elliott County, Calvin Cooper from Fleming County, you know, Charlie Kenny from Lewis County. Many folk artists are as equally skilled as, as many of their trained artists' counterparts. LaVon Williams is not simply one of the most important folk artists working in America today. I think he's one of the most important artists working today. Well, that's the first fox I ever made. You know, I didn't think it amounted to anything, but now I really appreciate it. And you know, I'd like to own it for myself. <laughs> I'd say they'd want a lot more than they give for it. The Kentucky Folk Art Center will continue as long as people continue making great art. And I don't see that ending here in Kentucky anytime soon.